Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collective haul of just some things that I've accumulated over the past, I'd say like month or two. So I have some like clothing items, some shoes, um, some beauty products, a bag, hats, like accessories, kind of thing like that. Um, and I was just going to show you guys everything that I've gotten in the last little bit. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is some beauty products, and I've gotten a couple different like foundations and stuff like that that I was trying out. Um, I was actually deciding between two um, of what one I was gonna keep, and I ended up keeping both because both are kind of different and I like both of them. So the first one is the Hourglass um, Vanish Stick Foundation, I think it's called. I'm in the color Nude, um, and this foundation, I don't normally go for stick foundations, but this foundation is actually really, really good coverage. It's very like smooth and easy to blend, and I just think it's like great coverage for a stick. Usually stick foundations are a little bit on like the lighter coverage side. Um, the only problem I found was it kind of sticks to like dry patches on your face. So I'm kind of dry like in my forehead area up here and like around my nose, I'm kind of like dry in the winter. And I found the foundation kind of built up a little bit more there and kind of looked a little patchy like throughout the day. So that's the only downfall. But other than that, um, I really do like it. The next foundation is like an all time favorite for like every makeup person and it's the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I got this in a pretty light shade, so I'm in the color five and I got it so it matches me in the winter because I get pretty pale in the winter. I actually am wearing it right now um, on my face, but just very like lightly. I just kind of like put it around the areas that I kind of wanted it to be, but um, it is very glowy, and I would say it's definitely a medium to full coverage foundation. Okay, so the next products I got are actually the Rihanna Fenty uh, line, and so many people were raving about the product, so I definitely had to hop on the bandwagon and grab a couple of things that kind of caught my eye. So, first thing I got is the um, lip gloss. And I think this is the only lip gloss she came out with, but everyone is like loving this and saying like, it's not sticky for a gloss and like the shade is perfect on everyone. And the shade is really nice. It's kind of like that, um, and it smells so good. Um, but it's kind of like that mauve, kind of like your lip color, but better. The next uh, Fenty Beauty product I got is her highlighter in Trophy Wife. And this one's like the crazy highlighter that's like glitter extreme. So this is intense. <laughs> so I mean, I honestly, I, I think I, I like it better on my eyes. Like a lot of people have been wearing it as eyeshadow and I definitely, I tried that out and I definitely liked it. Um, as a highlight, you literally barely touch it and it's like, intense so like as a highlight if I'm doing like a full makeup look maybe I'll go for it but for like an everyday look that I usually go for it's a little much so the last Fenty Beauty product I got is their matchstick in the color maple and I actually use this kind of like as a concealer slash foundation because it actually matches my skin tone um, the consistency is nice it's actually it's probably light to medium coverage maybe if you built it up it's a little hard to blend it's a little bit like of a dry consistency it's not like too creamy like the other foundation i was telling you about but then again like for a concealer and stuff like that it does the job so still pretty happy with this product i recently got three new makeup brushes that i've been loving and using like every day so the first one is a real techniques brush i think the real techniques brush brushes are amazing and they're like pretty cheap for brushes when you compare them to like high-end brushes and I think they're even better than the high-end brush like in terms of quality so I got this one which is like their orange brush um it doesn't say like what kind of brush it is but I use this for my foundation um especially for the stick foundation it really helps blend it out um and you can also spray brushes too, like with like a Fix Plus or something to kind of help do that. The next one I got is also a Real Techniques brush and it's this pink one. Again, it doesn't say, but I've been using this for concealer, foundation even, like 
Basically what I did today is I kind of just took my foundation and put it just in the areas I kind of wanted to have a little bit of coverage, but I didn't put it all over my face. Um, and then I took my concealer and kind of just did under my eyes with this. And I even used this with like powder. This brush is like all around amazing. Like if you're gonna get one brush, I would get this one. Um, because I use it for everything. It's small but still fluffy enough to kind of like cover a pretty good area of your face really quickly. And lastly, I just got this brush the other day. Um, I don't even know this brand. It says like Kala on it. It's like a really cool looking brush and it's like very dense, um, but a little bit thinner. So I use this for my, my contour. The last beauty product is just an oil I just picked up and it's by the brand Pure Beauty. Um, it's a facial oil for intense hydration and moisture to rejuvenate your skin. Um, so basically what I do, mostly what I got this for, is to mix it with my foundation to kind of make the foundation a little bit more lighter coverage and kind of like give your face that overall glow without like patting oil all over your face. Put in like one to two drops of this in the palm of my hand, take like one pump of my foundation and then use that little brush and kind of just like mix it together a bit and then kind of apply where I want. But like the way it blends is so much better than if you just do foundation by itself, especially thicker foundations. Um, putting an oil, like mixing an oil in with it helps it blend so much better. And this oil is actually like an almond oil. It smells so good. Okay, so that's it for beauty products. I'm going to move on to shoes that I recently got. So the first pair of shoes are these Zara slides. Um, they're kind of like that, I think it's called Sherpa. It's like that sheepskin kind of looking material. Um, and they're just like slide on with a little bit of a heel. I love wearing these honestly with socks. Um, like I'll put on like kind of like a brighter color sock with these and then like whatever kind of outfit, pants or something so I can still wear them through the fall and the winter time because they have like this Sherpa kind of material. They don't, they make them a little more fall wearable, not so much like a summer sandal. The second pair I got are from Urban Outfitters and I, I think like a lot of people will think they're slippers but I mean, I honestly would wear slippers out anyway. They aren't slippers, though, they're shoes, but they look like this. So again, it's just a flat slide with like this fur material. And again, I can wear these with socks and stuff through the winter, but they're so comfy, um, like just to slide on. They look a little crazy, like they're pretty, this fur is pretty thick, but um, I'm just more about comfort, honestly, with like a little bit of, style to them, although people will probably think I'm crazy wearing these, but the last pair of shoes I got are these sick, badass boots. <laughs> they are from the store called Linter Linterval or something. It's kind of, it's like a French store for sure. Um, I'm not going to try and like pronounce it with a French accent, so, um, but definitely check out their Instagram and stuff. They have amazing shoes, like I could probably buy every pair of shoes in there. Um, they're Montreal based, obviously, and they just opened a couple stores in the Toronto area. So that's where I got these ones. As soon as I saw them, I instantly thought of like the Balenciaga boots. So I was like, oh my God, I need these because um, these are way cheaper than Balenciaga boots. I love like all the silver hardware on them. I think it makes them look like so badass, like the platform and just like the heel and everything. They're so comfy and then like when you even wear like a sock with them, you see through. Move on to just one um, accessory that I got from the thrift store and it's this Gucci fanny pack. I couldn't believe like they have this at a thrift store. Um, like I couldn't believe someone gave this away, but it's just like the, it's black. It has like the Gucci print all over it. And then it has like the logo here. The belt is obviously amazing. So it's the Gucci colors. And then the class that opens and stuff has the Gucci name like embroidered in there. Um, it's pretty big so you can fit a lot in it and you can kind of wear it crossbody or you can wear it around um, your waist like as a belt. Um, so the next two products or 
actually all of the the rest of the products are from Zara. I always kind of once, I'd say once every season, go look at Zara online because Zara is cheaper than most um, brands, but they carry all of the trends that you see like on runways or on celebrities, um, but for like a cheaper price. And I still think like for the most part, it's good quality. I do shop there a lot. Um, but I do shop there online a lot more than in stores. So all this stuff I ordered online, um, and I'm gonna start off with the two hats that I got. So I just got like a basic, um, like kind of like a beanie, but not the ones that like hang off your head. Um, in this like light pink beige color. Um, and it, it, this was super cheap, it was 12 bucks, so nice I love wearing just like hats throughout the winter if you're having a bad hair day just like throw this on and you like look like you know what you're doing the second hat I'm like obsessed with because again you would have seen this kind of hat all over the runway and on celebrities and it's like a beret but it's like that faux leather so I'm definitely going to be wearing this like all winter because I think it's a good winter piece. Usually leather is more um, targeted towards like fall and winter time. So I think this is gonna look so awesome. For scarves, Zara is awesome because like I got this huge blanket scarf kind of thing. Um, for like, I think 30 bucks, 25 bucks. So that's like a great deal for a scarf. So moving on to clothes that I got at Zara. The first thing I got is this jacket. This is the jacket, it's camel colored. It probably hits around my knee. Um, it's pretty thick. Like it's definitely has like some wool in it, but this jacket was 50 bucks. So I was like, wow, I need that. Like that's so cheap for a jacket. Um, definitely like a fall jacket. Um, it's probably not thick enough to wear in the winter, especially in Canada here, but um, for fall, which it's not even really fall outside yet, I'm definitely going to be wearing this. The next item I got is a long sleeve shirt. Um, it's just like these vertical stripes, kind of has a little bit of a mock neck. And then the sleeve has this really cool detail where it kind of almost like snaps off. So it has like a little button and you can snap it. Um, I don't know, I I mean, I've been loving like the whole like crazy sleeve trend and um, it's still huge now. So a lot of the shirts you find at Zara have these like poofy sleeves and it's like all 80s inspired, but it's super in and I mean, on me, because I'm like a smaller person, um, it kind of works. It doesn't make me look like too big. So um, yeah, but I love this shirt. So this sweater I got uh, also at Zara. It's super, super soft. Um, turtleneck, you can kind of wear it however you want. You can flip it twice. You can just flip it once and make it a little bit more like sloppy. Um, it's just super big and wide. Um, and I love this color, it's like a cobalt blue. So this was about 50 bucks. Um, I think that shirt that I just showed you was about 30 bucks. This sweater I also recently got, so it's actually a hoodie, but it has curls all over it and then all over the sleeves. The sleeves are like super wide, it's cropped, and it has curls. So like this whole pearl trend just gives me like those Miu Miu vibes, if you know uh, the brand Miu Miu. They put pearls on their shoes, on all of their clothes, on their hats, like everything. There's been pearls and just like embellishments on jeans, everything at Zara, and of course they get that from the runway. It's like a huge thing right now. Okay, so the next shirt kind of also goes in with that sleeve trend. It has like these buttons. The collar's kind of just, it's not really mock neck, but it kind of just hits around here, like this shirt I'm wearing. And then the sleeves are short sleeves, but they're actually like a huge puff. And then it's just like kind of cotton material. I tried it on, I honestly was like kind of skeptical about how it would look, um, but I did actually like it on me. So this will look cute just with jeans, even. And the last shirt is also a um, sleeve thing. So it's kind of tied, I didn't really tie it properly, but the sleeves are crazy. It's kind of ruffled and then this actually crisscrosses in the front and it has like this tie that you can wrap around the back um, and then back to the front and kind of tie it. So again, this is like super cute and honestly like I pair this kind of stuff with like sweatpants and 
you know, I kind of like like that mix of like casual and dressy together. Um, I don't know, it kind of gives like an unexpected twist and then people are like, oh my God, your outfit's so cool and you're like, I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> so that is everything that I got um, in the last little bit. So that concludes this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All my social media links will be linked below and my jewelry website's always linked below. Um, and I'll put it up on the screen right here. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. One more thing I forgot to show you guys also from uh, Zara is this phone case. How amazing. It's fluffy and it has an S <laughs> for my name, Sarah. I was obsessed. It's so cute. It doesn't protect your phone whatsoever, so if I drop it, I'm screwed. But I mean, it might be worth it because the case is so cute. I'm like